welcome to another week in my life. Oh, that's Taylor Swift. Okay. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. I just picked up Starbucks. I was having a horrible time. Um, reverse seasonal depression is very real, guys. Like, summer takes me out. I've said this every year on my channel, but, like, it really does take me out. This weekend, I got back from New York Thursday night. Friday, we went to T-Pain. Don't ask. Saturday, we went to go see Trey Lewis in concert, and then we hung out with him after. Saturday and Sunday during the day, I was, like, sleeping literally all day. I'm so exhausted. And to make matters worse, I got, I don't know, like, if you can see the redness on my cheeks, like, it's not as obvious as it was like you can see it but it was much worse before i had an allergic reaction to spray tanner so that is tragic it's not the tanner i normally use and i had like red dry spots like rosacea almost like all over my face so then i had to take benadryl so then i really was tired anyways today's monday i was in a weird mood all day but i'm back 5 p.m one of my best friend tess's is you guys saw her in the new york vlogs her birthday today is her 25th so I just did a Target run. I just did a Susie Cakes pickup. Um, and we have a hibachi chef coming to my dad's house for her birthday dinner. So I need to get there. Everyone's coming over in like an hour to two hours. Get things together. We have a cute balloon. Like it's going to be good. So um, I'm feeling better. Subscribe for more. We have the Ryan drop this week. Two podcast episodes. We did a bonus solo. Got a lot of good stuff. Lots of vlogs. So to make myself better, I've been listening to Taylor Swift. And I got a pink drink. So. Today is being turned around. Okay guys, we're doing a little ad break for my hat to restore alarm clock, which is very cool because this is my favorite thing. I bought it with my own money. I posted about it so many times without like being paid for it or anything. It is the best thing ever. Let me explain to you why. Also, there's a deal going on right now for 4th of July and get $15 off, which is an incredible deal. I love my hat to restore alarm clock for many reasons. It makes me get off my phone. There's so many different features. There's so many different light options. You can do like sound machines. You can do like your alarm clock routine in the morning. So I have it to where like the sun will rise on the alarm clock with the light and then like birds chirp and it's so relaxing It's not like other alarm clocks. Okay. I have perfected my nighttime routine I have an entire other video where I show this as well But I have like my reading light that comes on they have a ton of different options for reading light my wind down I have glacier sound and I them so nice light rain I have like the finding stillness and then light rain throughout the night and it's just Perfect like it's so customizable. I'm all about quality sleep and 100% of hatch users said that they had sleep quality improved Like that's crazy. So we also have the hatch sleep membership, which again, I pay for myself If not from the deal this membership is $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year Which is what I paid it includes 25% off hatch hardware products along with unlimited access to more restful content in the companion app Including guided meditation stories and soundscapes every restore comes with one month of free access to hatch sleep a membership This thing just is so worth the money. I cannot express this to you enough. It'll also like tell you stories and it has guided meditations, like little soundscapes, which is so relaxing. Like I love a nice winter one when it gets cooler out. Reading light, there's 22 colors and reduced blue light. So it helps you like relax and get you to wind down and cues your body for sleep. And then also of course, like the sleep sounds are awesome. They have white noise, um, water, wind. I like a lot of the water, honestly. And I just love that it's personalized and it's a routine. It just is the best thing ever and in the morning it's absolutely incredible but I have to be honest my favorite part of it is the nighttime routine it's just like a 15 out of 10 you seriously have got to pick it up so again they have a 4th of July promo happening right now so if you've been on the fence about the hatch if you've seen it in my recent videos vlogs I mean I've had it for probably over a year now I seriously cannot recommend it enough like you need to treat yourself you need to get this and improve my sleep it helps calm my anxiety a ton with like the soundscapes and I like the light and the routine and then also just like not using my phone as an alarm clock it really sets a vibe. So again, the 4th of July promo, $15 off. Y'all need it. I promise. It's like the best thing that I have. Okay, back to the vlog. We're like 45 minutes out. We put some Shiner out. Tess's favorite. We have some drinks, of course. Breadwinning Housewife. Shop link in bio. Cake will go here. We're not putting it out just yet. And then I have my Starbucks. Over here will be where we eat. I've kind of started setting up. We have a hibachi chef coming soon. Hibachi DFW. I'll link them below. Um, so we're going to have the cups, which you probably put by the drinks. And this will be with the cake. So actually, I'm going to move this over here. That's what we have. Update on my skin. I put sunscreen on. It's just like painful. So anyways, um, these are from Anthropology. These are from Target. Everyone should be arriving soon. So cute. Lush raw. So cute. Oh my god.
guys it's 7 a.m i'm off to spin class i'm wearing the cutest set let me show you like how cute i got it at de novo active i think it's spiritual gangster i'll have it linked below but cutest set ever i never wear print workout sets and so i'm into it anyways okay so last night was so much fun i think it got me a little bit out of my funk i am gonna go to my mom's house today get my work done this morning and then go to my mom's um we might be like looking up new like, lake houses or something so i got hydrocortisone and so that's been helping just feels like so rough has this ever happened to anyone and my eye mask on right now um the 111 skin ones that are pricey but the best eye mask you'll ever use and that's because i stayed up last night until 2 30 in the morning um reading what is the book called? I mean, it's the Redheads pick. Everyone's talking about it right now. Um, Girls with Bright Futures. I started it late to fall asleep. Loved it so much that I ended up staying up until 2.30 reading the book. So I'll probably finish that today. I want to have like a cute, chill, relaxed day. Um, but yeah, I need to go into spin class. Jackson's teaching. He's my fave. And he's who convinced me to come this morning because I was going to do Pilates, but... I'm afraid to go into like a heated room with my skin right now because it just kind of hurts. So I feel like every vlog there's something wrong with me. Like I'm in urgent care, something happened. So, like I just, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just like trying to get the most out of my eye patches. So maybe I'll give myself like two more minutes because I just like can't walk in like this, you know? I mean, I could and I would, but mm, I don't think today that's the vibe. All right, y'all, it is now 12.30, and I just realized I forgot to vlog. So Jessica just came over, and we went over final stuff for the launch of the Ryan set tomorrow, and then just, like, end of year, basically, we made, like, the rest of our plans. I'm just sending over some brand content. I have, like, 30 minutes left for this to upload, and then I'm going to head over to my mom's, which is an hour drive from me. So I think I might put on the toast right now. Um, my hair is still drying. The cortisone's helping a lot, but anyways... This is my outfit today. Sweatshorts and this tank top from Lioness, which I actually love it. It's super comfortable. I have my coffee. I'm in a much better mood than I was in yesterday, like an unbelievably better mood. And I think I'm just gonna go to my mom's, get some work done, have the dogs run around, stay there tonight, come back tomorrow, and then like honestly read for the rest of the day and just like have some good time at your parents' house, you know? Sometimes that's what you need. And I used to always wish I could do that when I was in LA. And now that I'm here, I feel like I don't do it enough, like really at all. So I'm trying to make that more of a thing. But anyways, um, here's what we have. Had to watch the toast because look what Jackie's wearing. So cute. The Ryan shirt. All right, guys, I've made it to my mother's house and the Fort Worth Live literally just went live today. We're gonna make some drinks. She maybe just got a new lake house. My parents do short-term lake rentals in Texala, if you guys want lake houses to rent. And she said, you know what I have? She still has these from Second Rodeo. Do you think that they're good still? We'll find out. No, I don't want this, I want like a ranch water. Anyways, I we're gonna have a good day. I think we might see, we're either gonna go see the new lake house today or tomorrow. We might see Elvis today. And I'm gonna do my base thing, which I'm really excited for. I did a podcast episode with the founder and then I'm working with them on Instagram. But I'll like explain it when time comes. But you basically like, you do your blood mob. They check it, they do all the labs. It's like totally up your alley. And they'll do like nutrition. I think inflammation, maybe being tired, like fatigue, things like that. But they give you on an app, like personalized stuff. So they'll give you like personal, like I want it for food to like eat for energy, not like to lose oh, weight. Wow. But so they're measuring. It's basically like what Dr. Cole does, but like on an app. Minerals, vitamins. Yeah. So it's like easier because you can see it all on your phone rather than like. 
whatever. But it's really cool and it's way cheaper. Base. It's only like 60 bucks a month. Whereas if you get your labs done and do all that stuff, guys, it's like literally thousands of dollars. So it's like a really good deal. And they give you like a comprehensive plan. Hmm. Isn't that wild? Yeah. She came from, um, she has a tech background and then also like she went to med school for a bit and then just, she had like a big, like basically had like a health journey like you and got super into health. And then she started this. She loved like Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Um, but I have to like take my own blood, which I didn't realize. And I thought my mom would help me, but I forgot she's afraid of blood. Oh, no, no. How about, how about one of these? Took to go hard sell some strawberries. They are so good. I just kind of want room. like, or you want the vibe, tequila and mineral water. It would kind of be the same thing. It just wouldn't have strawberry flavor. Guys, what's going on with this Topo Chico shortage? Like, I actually don't even know why there's a Topo Chico shortage. I don't know. I just know that there is one. I just know I'm super annoyed by it. Yeah. Because I'm kind of stopped up to bring it to St. Louis. So yeah, but if it's for a reason, I'm sure it's for a very bad reason. In which case, we're still annoyed. But no, what? That's not true. Yeah, it's same. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, I can only imagine, but okay, uh, gauze pads. Dang it. Like, I need to do this today because I want to just get it done because then in five days they give me my plan. So I want to have it better back from St. Louis. Ugh, I don't like blood either, but I'm not trying to help you. I can't even watch. It's not good for me. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Um, the Ryan set is launching in 30 minutes. We are going to look at a lit. Did you buy this house already? Or did you get it? Uh, yeah, under contract. A house my mom has under contract as of yesterday. There's no Starbucks here, we're at the lake guys. My mom is losing her mind because she can't get her egg bites. Uh, so here we are. I personally love gas station coffee. I just think it's incredible. Oh my God, no hazelnut though, that's sad. I'll get regular. Like it's just always really good, okay? All right, here's the gas station breakfast. Looking good. Okay, so we are touring a lake house today that my mom has under contract. She does short-term rentals, so this stuff kind of like happens pretty quickly. It's in a good neighborhood that I like. This is selfishly like, I like it. The one that we go to is not that far from here, and that's like bigger because of a big family. But again, this is not for us. It's for short-term rentals, whatever. Um, but it's so peaceful here. There's so many trees, and like that way, it's right off the water. It's really pretty. Like the house isn't right off the water, but you can walk to the water. It's so beautiful here. And it's also like not even that hot out. Oh, it's 10 a.m. Ryan said just launched. So this is the back of the house. Um, my mom's also an interior designer. Oh my God, a cute dog. Uh, hi. Anyways, so we're gonna add a ton of stuff to this house and like completely renovate it. So keep that in mind. Oh my God, you are so cute. Do you wanna play ball? Oh my God, you're so cute. Okay, I was confused guys. It's this entire thing. There's this garage, there's a mother-in-law, there's a shed. So this whole thing, keep in mind again, this is like a renovation property too. Oh, the trampoline. You think they're gonna leave that? All right, so here is the house. Little baby setup. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, because obviously it's like people's stuff, but it's, would this would all get redone. Like you have, you have to have the vision for it. The backyard's back here. There's a ton of bedrooms. It's actually like a lot of property. Few hours later, I'm back in Dallas, and I'm about to head to the studio. I have a session from five to seven. I'm recording with all my best friends from Dallas, all the girls who went to New York. We're gonna do an episode, basically like post-grad, college, girl talk, all that stuff. Um, I thought it would be good because like, they're obviously more relatable in the sense that like, they're not you know putting their entire lives on the internet. And you guys always request for me to have normal people on the podcast. Um, and by normal, I just mean people who, again, don't share their entire lives on the internet and have like nine to fives and stuff. So they're great. They're gonna meet me there. Um, first, I'm gonna record like intros and ads myself, and then I'm gonna record with them. I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks on the way. Um, I have honestly quite a lot to do. 
over the next like 36 hours because Friday I leave again. Oh, I used um, Rose skincare for like the first time really today and I liked it because I haven't been able to because obviously I've had to put like cortisone on and I haven't been doing like my normal skincare and now I'm trying to change it which is like probably a bad idea right now but I don't know. This is the outfit. Oh, guys, look at my new dunks. So cute. I got them like a week or two ago. I actually ordered them forever ago. They took forever to get in um, from goat they're just so cute i really needed some and these are going to be perfect for the summer just with dresses and whatever so i'm wearing them for the first time right now so cute oh my god first off listening to olivia rodrigo just got to the studio stopped at starbucks to get a strawberry refresher the size of my face and then also a water i was just craving this like i needed a little pick me up you know great anyways I, for whatever reason, like, just didn't repack my tote bag because I was in the middle of packing it for tomorrow. And I have to carry, like, a billion things in. So I'm wishing the best with the one bag I brought. This. Look at the size difference between my purse to my Starbucks. Not cool. Anyways, I also, I don't think I've mentioned this in the vlog yet. There will be an unboxing. You will have seen it in the title. I bought myself my 25th birthday present early and I found it and it was the exact one that I wanted and I just ordered it I got off the real rail. It was supposed to be delivered today and I missed the delivery so I'm hoping I get it tomorrow. If not, I'm going out of town so I'm praying. Fingers crossed. Um, we'll do a little unboxing and I'm very, very excited. Like I just, ah, I have been planning on doing this for literally years since my 25th which is so crazy. Like I cannot believe I'm getting, like it's, I mean I know I'm in my mid-20s technically but like that's really like half the decade there, you know? Crazy how that works, right? Okay, anyways, I'm going to the studio. We've got Miss Hollywood over here. I mean, yeah. the talk about manager. I told you that we're dropping this <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Talk about fame. Miss Hollywood, I work with we're doing this like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm recording podcasts after this, I have to go. My mom goes, no, we just, oh, like for y'all, like for a TikTok, and I go, yeah, whatever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm back home. Um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Look at how messed up this section is of my closet. You can't even really see. Yeah. So that needs to be fixed. But I need to pick out an outfit for tomorrow because I have to shoot an outfit for Nine West with the cutest new shoes. I picked them out. They're literally Barbie shoes. But the issue is, and like, this is like a stupid problem to have, but I'm getting my spray tan tomorrow and I'm very pale and like this would look a lot better with a tan, but I have to shoot it tomorrow. So I'm trying to figure out the outfit I want with it just because most of it is like not really the vibe. So, I mean, we'll see what I'm feeling tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, this could go a lot of different ways. Oh, this top is honestly perfect, but hard to actually wear, so we'll see. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do, but anyways, the recording was really fun. I'm glad I finally had my friends on. I just, like, didn't even post my friends for a long time, here at least. Now that they, like, travel with me a lot, it's kind of impossible. And, like, it's not because I don't want to post my friends. It's necessarily, it's, like, more of a... I have like a better balance when I'm in Texas, like I'm not always filming and stuff, but that's in Texas and like they've obviously have been traveling with me. So anyways, I'm getting this stuff together. I really don't know how I'm going to shoot this tomorrow and like style it. So I've got to figure that out. I have a few like work things I really need to do tonight. Tomorrow I've got to do a ton of laundry because Friday I leave for St. Louis for the weekend to go visit my like, extended family. We have a lot of family in St. Louis. That's where my parents are like, originally from. So I'm gonna go see my grandparents, my cousins. It's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I need to like get it together, you know? Doing a little book update. I think I'm on currently, I'm starting my 30th book of this year, I think. Um, always follow KE Book Club. That's my favorite account that I have on Instagram. And I need more feedback. Like sometimes there's hundreds of comments and then sometimes there's like two. So like I need to hear more. Like am I just not reading? I know there's no way because I know that I'm reading the books you guys are reading. Anyways, I don't remember the last one I did on YouTube. So I don't remember the last book that I read. I might start the Hotel Nantucket tonight. Um, we, I will be doing a, taking a Nantucket trip this summer literally because of Elin, Elin Hildebrand, Hildebrand. Ellen Hildebrand. Which one is it? Please let me know. That's embarrassing. But I've read a lot of her books. 
and they're fab okay so i know i said okay so i read the roughest draft after i read things we never got over and it was like okay like i liked it but i feel like it was just a hard thing to follow up with things we never got over and it it's not like a must read but i liked it like it was good enough to read but it wasn't like oh my god you guys all have to go out and buy this book for nonfiction, i read power of one more by ed mylett loved it because i love ed mylett so much um then i read archer's voice which like i've never been more confused about how i feel about a book ever because like part of me thinks that i hated it and it was like cringy the other part of me was like no i think i liked it but here's the issue i have this that's coconut playing in the background i have this theory that if i don't finish a book in three days or less then i'm just not going to like it and it has nothing to do with the book and i think the obvious thing is like oh if you're really into a book you read it in one sitting yes but there's just sometimes where like I can't read or I'm gone or like whatever and if I spread it out too much then I just don't like it so I started that book and then midway through I had to pause to then read another book for a deal so then I read that book which I loved that one's out now so I'll talk about that in a second Coco please stop the dogs um and then I went back and started Archer's Voice so I think I read it over the span of probably like a week and a half and that could have also contributed to it and I think like in the meantime I realized like this is cringy and a lot of the books i read are cringy but something about like realizing it i just couldn't unsee it but i get that people love this book and i totally understand why someone would love this book and i totally understand people would hate it and i think if i read it in one sitting i would have been like maybe attached to it but i just like i i literally can't tell you how i felt about it because i don't know how i felt about it then i read girls with bright futures in under 24 hours loved it immediately got hooked um i finished it yesterday i read it in under 24 um, I would say like around 50% I was like, all right, like let's cut to the chase and then 70% it really picked up and I loved it I felt like it was a great ending and I really enjoyed it So oh and then I read a shoe story by Jane L. Rosen and if you guys um, Read Eliza starts a rumor, which is also an incredible book 911 dress like I just really love her books They're like feel good books you read them and they're just like comforting and so good and you love them and that book was incredible. I loved it. It's actually part of like the Nine West deal that I'm doing, which is really cool. But anyways, that is my little book update. What should I read next? I'm going to download a bunch of new books before I leave for St. Louis this weekend. Um, and I'm planning on reading like two or three. I'm going to go crazy. Maybe even more. I'm not going to be on my phone. And like when I'm at my parents' house, for some reason, I will just put my phone off to the side. And instead of scrolling on Instagram, I'm like reading my Kindle always. I'm like, I don't know why I don't do that more at my house. Like when I'm at my house, obviously I read a lot, but like... I really only read at night in bed, so I need to like change something up. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go to bed and read and watch BFFs, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow's a very exciting day because one, I'm taking Pilates for my favorite teacher. Two, I'm getting my bag, which is gonna be incredible. And um, actually, that's the only reason that it's exciting, but I'm really looking forward to it. So, anyways, see you guys in the morning. <laughs> set from story um just got breakfast delivered since i was only here for the week i was here for a full week why didn't i grocery shop i just did it i i was really down bad this weekend like i was really tired i slept i had an allergic reaction i could have instacart and i didn't and it's too late because they leave tomorrow so i've been door dashing everything which i actually hate doing because i like cooking and i feel so much better when i'm cooking from home but i do have home chef i think or green chef in my um fridge so i think i'm gonna make that later it is almost 10 a.m right now i've just been cleaning my house this morning getting some stuff done i filmed a deal last night um i have pilates at 11 30 so i think i'm actually gonna read just like have a morning go to pilates and then once i'm back i have to like film some deals send some stuff in hopefully pick up my purse i have a spray tan tonight and do all that stuff so today is gonna be prepping to go out of town again and packing currently doing laundry Oh yeah, this actually tastes really good. Am I crazy that I like love the taste of green juice? Even celery juice, like I actually love it. I've talked about this on my channel for years, but I just get like such bad summertime sadness. The way people feel 
in the winter is how I feel in the summer, which I know that sounds crazy. It's like reverse seasonal depression, but I just, like I don't do well. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I love summer and I love like doing all this stuff and it's fun and whatever. Like I do love those things, but something about it just makes me like crazy. And it's not the Texas heat because it's everywhere I go. Like I used to think, oh, like it'll be better when I'm out, like when I was younger and I moved. And it didn't get any better, if anything, it was much worse in LA because I had more structure when it wasn't summer because I was in college. But anyways, it's just not my thing. So I'm really gonna take this weekend off and have a good time and read a lot. Oh, last night I started this book <laughs> while I'm on the sample, which is weird because I was already halfway through the sample, which I didn't even remember ever reading that at all when I re-downloaded it. Um, it's called Meant to Be. And it's like this love story that's like loosely based off the Kennedys, which I really would love that. So now I'm gonna start it and read it and see if I'm into it and wanna like and wanna read it now. That's such a good story. So, anyways. I'm really into like US history. So any books I want to start reading like fiction books that are like loosely tied to US fiction or to US history because I would like that, you know? I'm about to go to Pilates. I have my coffee. We're going. It's my first and only hot Pilates class of the week because I didn't want to do located workouts before with my skin. Anyways, um, I might die. It's my favorite teacher. Look at what I finally put in my car. Hi, Dolly. How you doing? All right, y'all. I'm home from Pilates and I have a package. This is my Chanel bag. I got the double flap. Y'all will see it. I'm so excited. Um, I've had this plan to get this for my 25th for a long time. So here we are. Okay. The real real. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, it is, oh, it is so perfect. Like literally the most perfect bag ever. Oh my God. I want to see if I have the actual Chanel certification. This is the dark brown, which is like obviously the best color ever for me and gold hardware. I mean, it's so perfect. Like unreal. I even like the like interior better. Wow. I mean, if this isn't the most perfect bag you've ever seen. Happy birthday to me. Giving you a little better view. I mean, if this isn't like the most perfect bag you've ever seen, it's so dark brown that it almost looks black, which makes it like perfect. Oh my God. I just absolutely love it. Oh my God. Like it kind of, it looks black on camera, but it is dark, dark brown, which is what I wanted. I almost got one last week in New York, but it was like more of a taupey color. And like, I just like, a chocolate brown like that is my favorite color i was gonna have a big 25th birthday party in dallas but honestly it just kind of is stressing me out and i think i'm just gonna get a house in austin for my birthday weekend and have like my best friends come i feel like birthdays with like a smaller amount of people are better anyways and then it takes the pressure off and it'll be fun so we'll see i mean guys it is so beautiful and so cute like it's truly just perfect. Look at this. Okay, flip it up, put my phone in. Like, let's switch my bag over right now. What do I need? My keys, my sunglasses, my like $10 Amazon sunglasses, and then a Chanel bag, classic. Lip glosses, wallet, scrunchie. I hope my vlog camera fits in here. I think it will. This is the medium, by the way. I didn't really want the jumbo. I might, if I get a black one eventually, I might get the jumbo. But like this size for me was perfect. The jumbo is really big, so. Anyways, I'm so happy. It is so perfect. Oh my God, love it. Thank, I don't know, well, I was gonna say thank you. This wasn't sent to me, I paid for this. Anyways, thanks guys, this is crazy. I've been wanting to do this since I, forever. This is always my 25th birthday gift to myself, which is a month from now, but it's fine. I make the rules, so. Perfect, I love it. All right guys, I just wanted to come back um, because I was just looking at this and I'm like, my, what am I trying to say? Like, I'm just so grateful. <laughs> I don't know what it is this week. You know when you just have a week where you can't talk? I already am not the best at like articulating my thoughts, um, but I am just so grateful for you guys because I would not be living the life that I'm living. And I don't mean this in like a materialistic way. I mean this in like, I have my dream job. Obviously like financial freedom is like awesome. And it's really cool too. I've been thinking about this and I don't mean this, like this is gonna sound cheesy and like, okay, everyone's like, okay, whatever. But like, it is 
cool to be able to donate to causes or be able to help people in general. I think that is like the most, not freeing way, obviously there's so many other ways to support things than like money. Like there's so many other things that you can do and that are probably even more helpful, honestly. But I was just thinking the other day, like I'm so lucky to even be able to be able to like donate to a cause or help someone out or whatever it is. Anyways, um, I'm just planning on doing this forever and I think this year specifically has been one of my like best years career wise. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. Like I literally would have nothing if it weren't for y'all. And every single DM message and comment that I get like just truly means the world to me. Everyone who watches my YouTube channel and has forever or even just started or listens to the podcast or whatever it is, like I'm just so so grateful and like this is not a normal life i know and i'm unbelievably grateful so thank you guys so much um for just like supporting me throughout the years and things like that i'm not i feel like i'm giving like a stupid thank you speech for literally buying chanel bag like, that's not what i mean i'm just also it made me think about it so i love you guys thank you so much also side note i did say like i hope the vlog camera fits in it i just checked in case anyone is interested and curious and also vlogs or something it fits in here so i bought this online i hadn't even seen the dark chocolate in person because it was like never in store when i was looking um so i really just was like hoping for the best i'd seen the other browns and i liked them but i was like i just had this exact bag pictured you know at first i was gonna do the black one and then dom was like you need to do dark brown i'm like that's a genius idea because it's my favorite color um so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for just watching your videos and supporting me over the years i love you guys so much like seriously i just adore you guys so anyways um, I need to make some lunch and get some more work done. And yeah, love you guys. Um, I'm gonna also, I'm just so hungry. So, one sec. To all my Dallas girls and guys, better see you here this weekend. Unfortunately, I'll be out of town. So I did need to give you your itinerary because look at how amazing this is, okay? Starting now until the third. Start your night out at Alice for dinner, maybe some karaoke. Um, then I think you should stop at High Fives, get some jello shots, get some drinks and you'll have some fun then i think you should get a table at the whip which i don't ever buy tables but i think it's a better deal at the whip anyways to get a table like it's like cheaper um but obviously this is for a good cause so this is a great thing and then after you go to the whip you can go to Suzy for dinner after at like 3 a.m for a pizza on the way home incredible um session pilates for pilates if you're feeling it the next day never been to tiny victories love ferris wheeler so i'm just giving you some things to do again this weekend shout out love this this and that hospitality killing it all right i'm working a sour patch kids while i do a dash sweet green yes i said i was going to cook and no i didn't okay whatever I, I don't know why i have three of these i got a salad um and i've just been editing and in about like two hours i'm gonna shoot for nine west all right guys i was planning on vlogging into the night but I thought about it and like y'all have seen me pack, y'all have seen me do laundry, you have seen me get a spray tan. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. I literally cannot get over this. <laughs> I um, just sent in a ton of stuff to brands. I just took some branded content. I just really getting it together. I pre-uploaded so many shorts and TikToks and like everything. So I'm feeling um, really on top of it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life video. The Ryan set is available. Check out Hatch. I just posted on my Instagram a bunch of like summer book recs and stuff too. So be sure to go follow me on there. Love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. I work my ass off to get yeah. here just for my husband to stand next to me and get acknowledged like come on and he it's not his fault he feels like terrible about those situations um but that's just how the world is